Hello, I made new firmware for this small shortwave radio. Two years ago I wrote code for FM radio using the LilyGo TM Bed development board. Someone later used part of my UI code and combined it with SI4732 radio receiver chip to create this great full band and SSB radio receiver. Recently a LilyGo released similar version. They added here it is, SI4732 to do the embed and the result was the embed SI4732. They sent me one sample and um, board or a radio came with this firmware. However, I decided to reprogram it from scratch and created a new firmware, this one. The original firmware works great, but I wanted something that is easier to use and that looks a bit better. Uh, I should mention that this was my first step into the world of ham radio. Just a week ago I knew almost nothing about it and I still don't, <laughs> don't know a lot, but using the or original firmware taught me a lot and of course I also spent many hours chatting with ChatGPT about bands, modulation, frequencies and more. In this video I will show you how to install and use my firmware, uh, I will walk you through what I did and highlight the improvements. I probably made many mistakes, so to my friends in the ham radio community please feel free to leave a comment feel free to to put me on the right path this is just version 0.0.1 and i'm open to suggestions and improvements if community finds this interesting later we will listen some radio stations but i want to show what i did uh, first um, when you have user interface that only use a rotary encoder and one push button, it is not easy to to dealing with menus and I still missing lots of features original uh, firmware has. But in starting point, I wanted easy way to dial my frequency. Uh, one core is just reading input from rotary encoder so everything works faster and smoother other core is used to update part of the screen so what is uh, with pressing this button i can choose what i will change so now i'm changing one kilohertz now i'm changing volume now i'm changing 10 megahertz and here I, I can also see what is selected. Um, band will be selected automatically in, accordingly to this frequency. I, here I can set, set volume and here is the most interesting part. If I turn my knob in the left, I can choose SSB, USB, LSB or SSB on. And if I turn it right or clockwise, I can enter seek mode and it will try to find station with good reception but it will not find anything right now because i'm using this built-in antenna and we are in my basement so it will not find anything so device is very simple and 
very good for do-it-yourself for improvements because it is easy to open there are strong magnets here you can uh, remove these screws and find what is you can find this radio chip uh, only thing I'm missing in original device and I will put it very soon is on off button but there is enough place to install some on off button using this um, I will just need to cut uh, this battery wire and put some switch if you want to try or um, use my firmware you will need the embed SI4732 device first and you can get it directly from LilyGo site I will leave links in description of this video LilyGo has worldwide shipping and with device you will get this original uh, firmware installed and you will get these two uh, this little antenna but I recommend using something larger and better I'm using I'm still noob or <laughs> beginner in this so I'm using co copper copper wire for receiving and it's working great and now I will show you how to install my firmware and it is very easy believe me so first you will need to download my firmware and you will need to visit this github site because here is located uh, you will click here and you will go download zip so you will download zip file and after downloading you will need extract that zip file and inside that map <laughs> you will find another zip and you will need to extract that also so you need to have volosradio.bin file that is firmware in bin format and next you need to visit this site i will also leave link in the description you will connect your radio or tmbed device to your PC you will go to connect and choose whichever port is shown so you will go to connect now our device is connected to this flashing tool here you will delete everything and write a zero and you will choose file which is volos radio bin and you will click program And now we just need to we just need to reach 100 percent and flashing is finished now you need to press reset button A reset button is placed above the the embed device and that's it thank you I can't wait your comments and i don't know feel free to to say what i need to improve feel free how do you like looks of my user interface if this was useful and uh, if this if you want to support my work and um, you want to see more improved uh, Firmware, you can always uh, buy me coffee or you can become my Patreon or, or there is YouTube thanks or you can just my watch my videos thank you I will see you next week probably bye